previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. No. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. Why didn't you say so before? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that... that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Okay, guys, not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. You got it? Yeah, we've got your back, Jesse. Ah, feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Oh, you just love being mysterious, don't you? Is that like your favorite thing? What? I don't know what you're talking about. I just try not to think about this place very often. Kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I... I guess you could say that. Oh, come on, Harper. Going home is fun. You should be excited. <laughs> Clearly, you've never met the others before. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you. They're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. <gasps> My goodness. Yikes. If you're the nicest old builder, these other ones must be really terrible. Hey, too mean. I'm trying to help here, all right? Well, you're going to give us the Atlas, and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? If they don't want to give it up, then I guess we'll just have to take it. Don't get too hasty on me now. If you play your cards right, they should give you the Atlas. What do you mean? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I do. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. What? I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? Oh. Seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, 
isn't that special? I just... What in the world did Harper dump us into? Well, whatever you do, don't stand still too long. Those big, beefy dudes up there seem like they're aiming for us. Hang on! I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleef! Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, me like this! Teammates! Oops, did face me drop something? Totally against the rules, right? Yeah, I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, bro. You are an incredibly horrible individual. You just killed our companion. Okay, none of you are responding like you should be to what's going on, so are you all crazy? Mind controlled? What? Whoa, hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now, can you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is you just ruined our round of spleef. Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically against the rules. Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, you can't be serious! Okay, just tell me straight, what are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Where are you taking them? To the mines. Mm-hmm. They're going to mine for quartz until they get their next shot. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. Stairs. Lots of them. Are you being a Weisenheimer with me? Is that really what's going on? Wow. Say, so can we get someone to kill this little moron for me, please? A few dozen times? <laughs> Easy, Hadrian. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. 
You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning, you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. What if I was about to change your mind? Oh, that'd be hard, because see, I could be watching Slab squash you right now, which would be highly entertaining. Squash! I love it when he does that. What could you possibly offer that's better than that, Slugger? I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable for fun. This is not again. What about this? <gasps> I present the redstone heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be uh pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friend. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart. You and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Uh, without the Atlas? But we need that to get home. So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. I don't play that way, Hadrian. If I can't have the Atlas, you can't have the Redstone Heart. Come on, gang, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, 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 hey, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm sure we could reach an agreement that suits everyone. Well, kiddo, I admit you do drive a hard bargain. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I could think of something fair for the both of us. Well, you need the Atlas, and I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. It really does take a big person to admit when they've met their match, right, Hadrian? Yeah, that's right, Slugger. I'll play these games. Bring it on. Well, I... Guess we have a deal then. Gravel. All right then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, addendum. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. You lied to me, to all of us! Hey, hey, I didn't lie. Per se. I just didn't tell the whole truth. Tricky! Ugh. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games.
They're all in the games. Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back, and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Hold on a moment. We still haven't found Petra or Lucas. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines. Which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Well, then we're just gonna have to get them out. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll see if any of these other competitors have any promising leads. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute, you're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't look cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat's air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. Get my friends now. Face meat doesn't negotiate with meanies. Well, hmm, there is something you can do. Facemeat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime, you see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat will think about getting your friends out. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Then I guess we're even. Oh, no way we're even. You still have a good teammate left. And you still have all your fancy gear. I'm stuck with two blockheads now. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. You haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything, and they are completely under Hadrian's control. Unless I win, which I will, you've got guts. I respect that. Just can't wait to see those guts on the arena floor. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. No, you don't understand. I have to win. Winning is the only way my friends and I can go home. <gasps> is that how it works? That's what we're all trying to do. Yeah, well... Good luck with getting home. Wooden plank solid. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were like amazing. I'm now. <laughs> And I am so 
super sorry about your friend. I get your prob's upset. Especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I understand, Nell. These games are nuts. Man, I am so glad to hear that. I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like... Tim status! Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs! Like one, okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff. Compare you to Tim. I'm not here to be a Tim, I just wanna get home. But that's like exactly what makes you Tim status! Tim didn't wanna be Tim either! He got his whole team home! Listen. I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean seriously, I mean anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Well, actually, I'm trying to bribe that guard. Face me. And he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some? Wink. Come on, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Wait, I saw a few wood planks by the dojo. Right on. Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? table. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread! Now I should be able to get my friends back. Um, hello? Hey, face me! Got some bread for you. Bread, huh? It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mmm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Jesse. Hello. Hey, Ivor. There's been something I've been wanting to say. It's about how you saved me back there in that game. I. I really appreciate it, Jesse. I... Ugh! I couldn't have done it without you is what I'm trying to say. Of course I saved you, Ivor. We're friends. Well, yes. And I suppose that is very lucky for you, isn't it? I'm 
glad you're in this with me, Ivor. Me too, friend. Here! Oh! Oh, response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you? You too, Lucas. Jesse! I really hope you've got our stuff because I'm not liking being armorless here. So, I guess that's a no on my journal, too. Sorry. <sighs> Give it to me straight. What did Harper get us into here? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Don't worry. We're just in this tournament where if we win, we get the Atlas and our ticket home. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Of course, if we lose, we, um, spend an eternity mining for quartz through that portal. Nope. That is not a thing I want. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. Lucas, we need the Atlas to get home. <sighs> I know. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Tim seems fantastic. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point, but you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I just hope this next event isn't too... deadly. Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. And it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in sleep, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. Certainly fond of their own voices, those three. I can't wait to hear what today's event is. Oh my gosh, I'm so sick of these pompous jerks. Yes, I can't say I'm terribly fond of them either. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? Oh, great, a run for my life. Just what I was hoping for. Bad knees, Beardo. Boom! Surprise locker room visit. Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since they're... Explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. Winning. Ooh, in the zone, huh? That's excellent. 
That's just excellent. Hope you managed to hang on to that optimism when the heat's on out there. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? I've always liked to think so. Whatever you're throwing at us can't be any worse than the other stuff we've already survived. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes. Perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? You wishing me good luck? Come on, Em, that sounds pretty suspicious. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot earlier. I'm sorry. I was just mad about my old teammate you eliminated. Well, I was thinking about how you handled Spleef, and then you made that deal with the old builders, and I thought, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Em wanting to work together. Hmm. I'm not surprised. We are very charming. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or you can take a slab to the face. <laughs> you got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay too. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. I'm glad she'll be on our side. At whatever a gladiator junction is. I don't know about this, Jesse. Cardio isn't really my thing. If I were Hadrian, I'd be up to some suspicious activity. Come on, Ivor. I know you can unleash the fury out there. Show them what you got. You're right, Jesse. I'm going to show those old builders what Ivor is made of. See? I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together. And I'm glad that M like totally suggested that. We can do this. Uh yeah. I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. Competitors on your mark. Get set. Go! Yeah. 
We did it. I love a good lava base build as much as the next guy. But this is a little treacherous for even my tastes. What did we get ourselves into? And you're just getting started. Huh? Out of the way, chumps! Okay, sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? for the fun part. I sure hope so. Come on, then. Glad she's on our side, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh, yeah, Slab? Because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that. Right, Em? Em? <laughs> Boom. Bye, Squishy. Ocean of leaping! No front! Gotcha! Ah, no! Looks like you're all alone yeah, now. That's math. Tired of you, Slab? I was just thinking the same thing about you! Sorry, now I'm winning this thing. Hey, whoa, whoa, Jesse! Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? Get huh? dunked on, whoa, whoa, slacker! Hang on. For you? Thanks for saving me. Yeah, I don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator, formerly known as Emily. I 
trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse responded yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. You lied to me. You tricked me into trusting you. All the stuff you said about being friends was a lie. I know. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, no, no. please. probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. You really trusted Hadrian? That guy's like a creeper in a purple power suit. Hey, you try being stuck here as long as I have. Then you can talk. I'm out of here. That respawning was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Ah! Ivor, what are you wearing? <gasps> it's what I've been wearing under my adventuring clothes. It breathes wonderfully. Uh huh. Well, look who it is. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Before I go anywhere, I want more information. And I wanted to kill you, but they wouldn't let me. Guess that means we don't always get what we want. Come on. No. Just Jesse. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Just try and be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. I think you're gonna wait for me, lackey. I mean, what are you gonna do? Kill me? Oh, wait. I forgot. You can't. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse. I'm Sebastian. Um... I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sebastian. Phew. Okay. Good. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse! Come on! Now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Quit whining, Slab. It's super unbecoming. Oh, I am gonna enjoy squishing you at some point. Wow, so this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... Nah, I've seen stuff way more epic than this. Oh, really? Hmm. I bet you're just making that up, snob. But why am I standing around? I, I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh, and don't touch anything. Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. Now that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas! No portal, Atlas. 
A man forever voyaging by... Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? I've never seen a quartz desk before. Hey, Bat! Hey, Batsy! Oops! Wow, an all-quartz wall. Impressive. Tim's armor that now belongs to Jesse. So, ah! I see you found Tim's armor. Gotta say, Jesse, I'm surprised that you try and steal that armor. Considering everyone is calling you the new Tim. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a very Tim thing to do, does it? Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Adrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games. I love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow. But I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. <laughs> of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. I'm gonna get you guys free, I promise. It's great to hear that you're not a prisoner, at least. Well, I kind of am. Different. Oh. I'm just glad we're all back together. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow. This is just... Wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part! I save that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben. Sup? I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Adrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright, you know that? 
What? I told you, bro. Like, my name is Ruben, but the Ruben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though, seriously, dude, big fan. <laughs> so you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? You're messing with the wrong guy. And his friends. Yeah, they're awesome. Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. Play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you. And you won't win anyway. Slav, get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. Uh, Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Have you seen what Ivor is wearing? I said, <laughs> shut up! Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh. I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. I don't trust Hadrian. No way was I going to take any shady deal from him. You're right. You're probably right. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. Well, he seems nice. He's the least interested in torturing people, at any rate. Huh. A good observation. He always was the most level-headed of those three. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal, and he's an honorable man. We're gonna end these games for good. Think you can handle that, Harper? Oh, I think I've got some <laughs> ideas. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? <laughs> that is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow, if we work together, we can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. The point is, just shut up and let me talk, okay? Oh, snap. Well, 
fine. I'll hear you out, but nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey, Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... No way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Of course he is. It's all a part of how the old builders keep their control over everyone. That's awful. Seriously. But we can beat them. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Like they got us all on leashes. Hey, but the old builders don't know that we know. We have surprise on our side. Surprise, awesome. That'll be a ton of help when a gladiator's running at me with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but um, those gladiators are like super tough. <laughs> like max level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, I mean totally OP. Those gladiators are a bunch of tough cookies. Definitely true. No way any of you stand a chance against them. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But that's just because you've never had a leader to help you make a plan. You've never- Oh, I get it now. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it! Doing awesome. Those old builders think they're the greatest thing since chiseled quartz, but we will show them that that is not true. Right now, Hadrian's up in that tower, plotting how he's gonna beat us all. But what he doesn't know is that his plans are doomed from the start. Because they are going down. Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs> Competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls! The walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. After putting up with your breath this whole walk? Please. This walls thing doesn't scare me at all. <laughs> Still got your sense of humor, huh? Cute. Bevia. For those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played. Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Oh, you work for the worst people. Did you know that? Yeah, but that dental plan, though. See? Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves. 
because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat oh. gladiators. <laughs> that's right. So all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking. Too dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevian? What do you mean, Hadrian? Some choices take you places. Others get you nothing but dirt and gravel. Gravel? That's worse than dirt. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. Hey. <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. Oh my gosh, do you really think so? That's terrible. Oh, wow, I mean, yeah. C could you not tell? I hate you. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Dirt. If I didn't convince people to join up with that speech, I'm gonna need something to work with. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mevia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! Uh, this should be interesting. There. Competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Jesse! Go! Jess! Ha ha! Hang on now, we em got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Let's hope. Okay, do whatever it is you have to do. Whatever you say. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it comes. The finishing blow. What? <gasps> Try giving that friends thing a shot. It appears Emily has often. Wow, am I glad that this is how this went down? Because uh, let me tell you, all I had was dirt and gravel. Gross. Could still come in handy though. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Aren't you tired of letting the old builders use you like this? Like, uh, like awesome people? No, like little pieces in their games, doing whatever they say. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! What they should be doing is eliminated! Hey, Hadrian, shut your cake hole! Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? You're all such strong, amazing fighters. You could fight the old builders, defeat them! No way! I am very strong, but not strong enough for that. <laughs> yep. That is some straight crazy talk. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab, I'm so proud of- Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate too. And... Then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm. Even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. 
I think it's time for us to finish this together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no! And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are <laughs> Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. Uh, no! Levia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. So help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other. Not happening. Oh, would you cut it out with the cheating and bending the rules already? I heard Mevia. The game ends when someone steps on the winner's platform. Boom. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun. Come on, Mevia. Just admit you lost. You'll feel better. Lost? We'll never lose. We, we still have the Atlas. Ha! Well, that's the thing. Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. Otto! What are you doing? Now it's been fun, really, but I think it's about time we end this. Whoa. This is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Yeah. Because, uh, I will trap you here forever. You heard, Otto. The Atlas is mine. Yeah, we're going to talk to Otto about that later. But trust me, the Atlas will never be yours. Ah! <laughs> is he useless? Well, well. Just when you thought M had your back. Oh, are you with us or not, M? Tisk tisk. Seems like classic Emily. She's always been a touchy one. You're gonna need all the help you could get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. Yeah. I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. No, oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skills, but you're still no we'll match. see about that. I got this, Hadrian. <laughs> Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right. This has gone too far. It was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you... forgive me? <laughs> <sighs> this game... is... No! And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners! I... I lost. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us! Yeah! I'm so happy to see you guys. I know you said you were done helping me, but I hope you can give me another chance. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. I actually wouldn't mind a little help. Looks like an understatement to me. We got you, buddy. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, suspenders. Over here. Tim's armor. Belongs to you now.
Time to kick some old builder butt! Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, nice yeah, choice. Sweet. Payback ah, time! Eliminate! Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Adrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime! Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Adrian? Time for you to be eliminated! <laughs> Please. Not gonna happen, chump. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you! Yeah. <laughs> Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! Us. I believe Time to in shut you! you up. You think this is going to help? You're deluded! I will personally see to it that you and your friends will forever suffer! Shut up! Just shut up! Alia, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Splee! Got it! Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again. Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. The whole thing shut down. 
Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. That all of them? Everyone that wants to go home, anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. You promised they'll stay fun this time, right? Oh, yes. I don't intend to let the games get corrupted like they did before. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends. Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and... Well, you're pretty awesome. Ah, oh, Jesse! That's wonderful! Oh, thank you so much! Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello! What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. Truth be told, not really sure what I'm gonna do with myself. Crown Mesa was the closest thing I've had to a home in a long time, and well, clearly they don't want me back. So now I'm kinda, well, without a home. Well, sounds like Otto's gonna be fixing up the games and trying to make them, you know, fun again. Maybe you could help with that. Oh, that's a great idea. I actually really loved those games way back when. Could be a nice way to make up for the not so good things I've done. If my experience is any indication, you'll probably still be haunted by nightmares for a while. Waking terrors, guilt sweats. Don't worry, it'll all pass soon. You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book, take us home. Whoa, spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice. There it is. Home. I assume M told you that she's coming with? Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! 
After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yes, it does feel pretty good, doesn't it? Ah, <sighs> it is good to be back. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. Palma's Redstone Heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh, man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The Crown of the Eversource, the magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh? I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. <clears throat> Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, flint and steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Eh, he'll be back eventually. After everything we've been through, I think I finally trust him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go home. <laughs>